this week. We'll continue with the、uh, great example we introduced about basic if statement last week, and then we'll speak about、uh, two common mistakes about using if statements involving logical operators. And then we'll show you a little bit more about example for logical operator, especially for disjunction and also conjunction. And then we、we'll、talk about how you can use a helper method in your utility class. It's a very useful feature for you to have to really uh, re, uh, minimize duplicates in your code. And then we、we'll、talk about、uh, variable scopes, which which will be very useful whenever you got a nested if statement. You should really know when to really use、uh, which variables. Okay, let's now talk about it. But before I start the、uh, creating、uh, a new project for this week, I would like to, as usual, for those of you who might be willing to、uh, do some optional extra work to really get more experience about Java. Again, refer to this tutorial series over here from Winter Nineteen, the Java tutorial series. You know where the link is. And、uh, so far, for those of you who might have been、uh, doing well, you know, on the extra work, you may have already started. Uh, watching video ten to video seventeen, as I recommended last time. However, this week、uh, I recommend two long videos over here for you. So these two examples are very very useful for you to really know how to use the nested if statements. So this week we'll also talk about we'll also talk about nested if statements, but may not be to the extent uh, that uh, that's actually covered in these two videos because we got only a、uh, limited time for every week and. But if you study a little bit more about nested if statement from these two videos, I think that will help later on, later on for your lab number two and also for your programming test, which does require some nested if statement. It's up to you if you already know,、uh, already feel comfortable just about the example we did、uh, that we're gonna do this week. That'll be okay. All right, so that will be the、uh, extra work that you can do optionally. It's kind of up to you. All right, so now let me switch back to Eclipse. Let's now create our project for. Uh, this week, and let me just mention one more thing here. Whenever you create uh from your local machine, presumably that one has been already been installed the、uh, latest version for Java for the Eclipse. So you want to make sure whenever you create a new project, you do not create the module info dot Java file, which can create trouble uh for your packages uh later. Okay, so let's、uh, be very careful when you create a new projects. So let me now going to uh create a new projects. I can simply just、uh, right click on the package explorer over here. That's just another way to do it. Otherwise, you can simply go to the top and click on file. Just different way of doing the same thing. New、uh, Java projects, and then、uh, gonna give a name. Let's be consistent. So it would be week underscore o three. All right, and then we'll say next. All right, everything should be okay, and we can say finish. So now this is a very critical step. By default, Eclipse is going to tell you that they want to create this、uh, module info dot Java file. Make sure you don't actually click on that, right? You want to make sure you say don't create. This is going to save you some trouble for later. All right, say、so、don't create in case you accidentally already created module dash info dot Java file. I would suggest since we haven't done anything yet. Simply right click on the project over here. It's just in case if you got module dash info dot Java, you can see I don't have it because I didn't create it. In case you have, you can right click on the projects and then you can say、uh, delete, and then you can click on、uh, make sure you delete the project content from on the disk. Okay, you can do that and then say okay and then create again from scratch and make sure you say don't create the module dash info dot Java file. Right, just want to emphasize again. All right, so now we're going to reuse、uh, the basis that we、uh, developed from last week. So without retyping, so I would say expand the project from week number two. Presumably you have done that already, and then we're going to expand、uh, the source、uh, folder. And then there,、uh, there are basically four files.、Uh, three, sorry, three files that we want to、uh, copy. Okay.、Uh, before we do that, let's create the packages to set up. Okay. So now right click on the source and then say package. Okay. We'll simply do、uh, console apps, okay, and then we got also J unit tests, and also we got model, right? It's gonna be the same package for、uh, the same three packages for every week. Model. All right. Let's now copy one by one. If you can expand the console apps from week number two. We want to copy these two, Great App One and Great App Two. Okay, simply right-click and say copy, 
and then console apps over here, right click, and then you can say paste. Initially, it wouldn't compile simply because we haven't really copied over the grade class uh, yet. So the utility method doesn't uh, don't really exist just yet, but we'll do that now. All right, also expand the model from week number two, and then right click on the grade over here and say copy. And then we're going to right click on the model in week number three, and then we say paste. All right, so now everything should compile, right? You got, you got great, and also you got a uh, great one app, uh, great app one, and also great app two. Okay, so now that will be the basic setup for uh, week number three. So now let's get started. Uh, let's collapse this. So they're gonna we are going to focus on just uh, week number three uh, projects. So let's now, first of all, I would like to introduce to you uh, about two common mistakes about using if statements together with the logical operators. I'd like to start with the first one about using uh, multiple if statements, but with overlapping conditions. So what do I mean? I want you to really open a great class over here, right? And then uh, I briefly mentioned that when we first created this version over here, get letter grade one, we simply got if, else if, else if, and etc. So this is just a single if statement, right? It's a single one. You remember a single if statement can uh, definitely should have at least the if statement over here. And then you can have as many else if as you like. This will still be part of the, the single if statement. And then optionally, you can also have an else statement. So this long thing over here is simply a single if statement. So that's something you should have already learned from your lecture, okay, number one. Number two, uh, when we first created uh, this version number two back in the previous week, the way I did it to begin with was I simply just copy the whole method over here and then I simply delete all the else space over here. So which means I got if, I got if, and then I got if. I simply got multiple if statements. So basically that's what I did, right? So now I would like to go back to that version which is wrong, right? So the current version you have over here from last week is simply the correct version. But again, uh, since we didn't have enough time last week, so I didn't explain it, but now let's do it properly. It's really important for you to really know the difference between uh, a single if statements versus multiple if statements. So what I will do now is I'm just going to um, select a block over here, okay? And then I want you to do two things over here. Number one, you're going to uh, simply, okay, you know what, two things. Number one, select the block, the multiple if statement over here, control or command forward slash, put the whole thing into a common block for now. I just don't want to execute it just yet, all right? And then I want you to basically copy this single if statement over here back, okay? Copy over here, and then simply put it here. And then I'm gonna say paste. All right, and then I'm just going to do what, what I did uh, from last week. I'm just going to create, you can see, so now you can see this is an independence if statement alone, that's it. And this is another, the second if statement. This is the third. And this will be the fourth. And this will be the fifth if statement. And this will be the sixth if statement. This will be the seventh, okay? This will be the eighth if statement, all right? And then this part over here will just be uh, the failing grade, right? Over here, all we can say is we can say if, for example, we can say marks strictly uh, less than 50 over here, this will just be letter grade F, all right? So now this will be like a wrong version, but we want to understand why this will be wrong. So let's now go back to uh, iPad first, first of all, and then I'll use a debugger to show you exactly why it is wrong. 